If you're looking for a quick way to create architecture renderings of the interior or exterior of a building, then this video will show you how to do that using AI Stable Diffusion. This process is meant to be quick, easy to understand, and for anyone of pretty much any skill level. So gather up or draw yourself a sketch of the building interior or exterior, and let's jump right in to how to create renderings from your sketch using artificial intelligence. And just so you know, in the description below, I have a link to a Stable Diffusion cheat sheet That'll give you a lot of prompting ideas so you can create better images. All the links for the downloads are in the description below. Alternatively, I created a zip file that has all the downloads inside of it. If you want to download the zip file, click the link in the description below and it'll navigate you to the Patreon. When you're on the Patreon, scroll down, click show more, and click the free downloads link. Here you can find the zip file for stable diffusion downloads. I would still recommend following along the video, it's just easier to download them all at once. Let's head over to huggingface.co. Here you're going to create an account. Click sign up and then follow the prompts. Next we'll go to github.com. Here you're going to sign up for an account as well. Follow all the prompts. Next, we have to download a couple programs, and remember, all the links are in the description below. We're going to go to getforwindows.org. Click download. Run the installer. Click yes. And you can just click next to everything and keep it all on the recommended settings. After it's done installing, uncheck view release notes and check launch git bash. Click finish. Hold your Windows key and press E. This will open up your file explorer. Head over into your C drive, right click, new folder, name it AI, press enter. Double click your AI folder to enter it. Click up in this bar up here and copy the folder's location. Head over into the Gitbash window that we opened up earlier. Type in CD space, right click, paste, press enter. Now we want to install the files for Stable Diffusion and Automatic 11.11. Head back over into your Windows Explorer, copy and paste into the search bar the link in the description below for Stable Diffusion Web UI Automatic 11.11. It should bring you to this page. Look for the green code button and click this button right here to copy it. Now we have this web URL copied. Let's head back into our Git Bash window that we opened earlier. Type in git git space clone, C-L-O-N-E space, and then right click to paste the URL. Press enter. This is gonna take a little bit of time to process and install. Now let's head over back to huggingface.co where we created an account earlier. Log in. Use the link in the description below or search for Stable Diffusion. You want to go to the one that says Runway ML Stable Diffusion 1-5. Scroll down until you see Download the Weights and download V1-5 Pruned EMA Only Checkpoint File. Now this is a 4.27 gigabyte file, so it's kind of big. It'll take a little bit of time. Now we need to download a specific version of Python or Stable Diffusion won't work. Use the link in the description below or go to python.org. Downloads, all releases, scroll down, and the section that says looking for a specific release, search for 3.10.6. I found it here, release on August 2nd, and click the download link. Scroll down to the very bottom, and click the Windows 32-bit or 64-bit, whichever corresponds with your computer, more than likely it's 64-bit. After it's done downloading, let's navigate to our Downloads folder, Right click the Python download and run it as administrator. Click yes. Check add Python exe to path and then install now. After it's done, click close. Head into our downloads folder where you save those files. Right click the v1-5 pruned. Cut. Head over to the AI folder that we created earlier in local disk C. Stable Diffusion Web UI. Models. Stable Diffusion. And where it says put stable diffusion checkpoints here, right click and paste. Now we need to download the realistic vision model. Use the link in the description below to go to the realistic vision 2.0. You should see here base model stable diffusion 1.5. Go ahead and click this download button. 
After it's done downloading, go into your downloads folder or wherever you saved it, highlight it, control X or cut, go to your AI folder that we created earlier, Stable Diffusion Web UI, go into Models, Stable Diffusion, where it says put Stable Diffusion checkpoints here, you're gonna paste. Head over into the ControlNet Scribble model, link in the description below. Scroll down until you see scribble.pth and download that file. It's 1.3 gigabytes, so again, it may take a little bit of time. Now let's head back into the AI folder we created earlier. Stable Diffusion Web UI. Scroll down, and you'll see one called Web UI user, and it should be a Windows batch file. Sometimes it may read as Web UI user.bat. Now, when you double click this, it's going to download a lot of information, and it's going to take a really long time to download. So let's go ahead and start it. Like I said, it'll take it quite some time to load. But if you do realize that after an hour or so, if nothing's moving around, just click inside of the black screen and you may have accidentally paused it earlier on. If you click inside of the black screen, it'll resume the download. If you've liked the video so far, please like the video and subscribe down below if you wanna see future content just like this. I'm gonna be releasing a lot of videos about Stable Diffusion that might be pretty helpful for you. And also, thank you so much for making it this far. I threw a little bonus tip at the end of the video for you. After it's done loading and the mess of all this, you'll see a line that says running on local URL. Highlight that URL, control C to copy it. Head back over into your internet browser, open up a new tab and paste that URL. Press enter. And now you're inside of Stable Diffusion. Now we need to add the ControlNet extension into Stable Diffusion. You can use the link for ControlNet in the description below. Copy that link you just entered. Head back over into Stable Diffusion, click the Extensions tab, click Install from URL, right click and paste that web URL, and then click Install. This may take a lot of time. After it's done, you'll see at the bottom that it says it's been installed, and use the Installed tab to restart. Head over into the Installed tab and click Apply and Restart UI. If it freezes up, just close out of this tab and reopen Stable Diffusion. Now that the ControlNet extension is done being loaded into our Stable Diffusion folder, let's head into the AI folder we created, Stable Diffusion Web UI, Extensions, SD Web UI ControlNet, and then Models. Open the folder where you downloaded the Scribble model earlier. Mine is in the Downloads folder. I'm gonna select it, Control X to cut it, and I'm gonna paste it into the Models folder. After that's done, let's go back into Stable Diffusion, and we're going to click this refresh button up here. Now for the fun part, we're going to turn our sketches into really nice looking images. At the top of the Stable Diffusion window, you want to switch your checkpoint over to Realistic Vision. Go down to Control Net and select Enable. Select the Scribble button, and now let's upload our image. I'm going to use this sketch I created earlier. And because my sketch is black lines on a white background, you want to go to preprocessor here and change this to invert from white background to black line. Go over to your model and change that to scribble. Now let's scroll up. Batch count is where you can select how many images you want Stable Diffusion to create for you. I'm going to set it to five so we have some to choose from. The more you put, the longer it'll take. My computer's decently fast, so this isn't a big number for me. I can usually go up, you know, well past 10 to 30. Um, if you have a slower computer, you may want to select a lower batch count. Essentially, a higher number just takes longer for it to create all the images. Next, you're going to want to copy and paste into this prompt field the prompt that's in the description below, where it says insert style here. You're going to choose a architecture style or interior design trend or style or some type of atmosphere that you want your image to portray. For me, I'm going to simply use mid-century modern. I like it when the images have a lot of sunlight coming in, so I'm going to add that in here. Sometimes finding the right words to put in this prompt is pretty difficult, so in the description below, I have a link to a Stable Diffusion cheat sheet that'll give you all the resources you need to create amazing prompts within Stable Diffusion. And finally, let's click Generate. You'll see here waiting, and it'll start to load your images. If you click the image and then click it again, it'll show you a grid of all of them that you created. You can use the arrows on the left and right to cycle through them. I like this one the most, so you can either right-click it and save your image, or go back to Stable Diffusion and click Save. 
It'll open up a link for you to download it here. If you want, you can right click it and click create a shortcut. Name that shortcut Stable Diffusion. And then you can move that file to your desktop. So now anytime that you want to open up Stable Diffusion, you can just double click that icon on your desktop. I'm definitely not Rim Cool House, but I really enjoyed this video, so I'm going to like it and I'm going to subscribe down below. If you enjoyed the content and you want to see more videos, check out the one over there on the top and the one at the bottom. Right beside me is a list of patrons from Patreon. On Patreon, you get a lot of great architecture-related benefits and your name gets featured at the end of the videos like these amazing people right here.